Oh, I'm just saying, all right? The office open. Make can stand out your toy boy or something. Oh, yeah, and that wouldn't be creepy for either of us. Anyway, you're taking Katie. That's the end of it. It's just a Christmas bash. I don't even want to go. Yeah, but if Kane showed up. Well, like I said earlier, it's a big if, Adam. Well, we'll be back. Don't worry about it. Well, we've done it on Amazon again. Nah, they must have the wrong place. Fancy Moira. Surprise. What are you doing here? A bit of trouble. You must be Adam, right? Um, this is Pete and Finn, mm -hmm. Uncle James's boys. What kind of trouble? Been repossessed. New things are bad. Bad? No. Try desperate. I've got a mate who works at the debt collectors. Yeah, the bailiffs are coming around now, so he called me. They were talking eviction, seizure of property, you know, all that fun stuff. So I had to do something quick. Luckily, college boy organised paperwork for moving here in advance. Yeah. I had some time on my hands. So, here we are. Just left of our farm. Yeah, wait a minute, what are we going to do with him? Well, you could take him to the pictures, I suppose. We're putting him in a cow shed to be favourite. Oh, my brother, everyone, the charmer. What I meant is, we don't have enough room. Big shed's full. We could move some tackle out of the old one, but still be a squeeze. No, let's put them in the bottom field for the time being. And where's your dad in all of this? What I was going to ask. All right? No way. You look... <laughs> Come in! <laughs> oh, I don't believe this. What are you even doing here? Uh, imposing. You prat would be more sick. And how's you, boss man? All the worst. Can't get rid of me that easy. So, where is the old fella? Dad. Hey, come on, none of that. He's kicking off in the bailiff's office right now. Wouldn't be if I'd been spending the past year looking for your sorry backside. Still, is she not dead? Got him filled. You two go and clear out the old shed. Oh, yeah, because we've got nothing better to do. You two better have a good reason for this. You really want to explain it? Sorry to waste your time. They're all going back. Hi. How are you doing? You two, get going. <laughs> are you all right? I want to hear this. I'll fill you in later, all right? Go on. Thanks, Zach. The fiver. Says we'll spend the afternoon getting them back in the wagon. You played right into their hands. Taking stock off the farms is as good as telling them they've won. They have won. Well, don't you get it? It's over. Not in my book, it isn't. But we've been salvaging what we can. You weren't there, Dad, again. But someone had to make a decision. I was at the bailiffs. See if we could get an extension. Yeah, good luck with that. And did you get it? They're coming this afternoon. Then I think it's best that you cut your losses. What do you think I should just let it go? That place was my life. Was that? But for all of us. But it's over. You have to be realistic. Meaning what? Give in? No. I am. Uh... He's stopping with us. We agreed you'd tell me. Well, I'm telling you now. And if I told you when he arrived, he would have done a runner. That's true. You've been in the wars again, I see. At least he's not a gunshot wound this time. Ah, yeah. oh, Pete's way of saying hello. Yeah, that figures. Still doesn't explain what you're doing here. Well, he had some trouble with his dick, so we put a roof over his head. And your old fella's all right with that? I got the impression he wasn't a fan. Not really, but what was I going to do? His family. Yeah. All right. Thank you. But if he's going to be a burden to anyone, it better be me. I'll take him. And we'll all get out. Yeah. Do I get a say in this? Take him where, James? 
Face facts. There is no farm to go back to. Well, things are difficult. But you'll work something out. I can't believe it, Mitchell. Everything's gone. What? This. You know I appreciate this, don't you? Well, I'm not exactly doing much. You're still... I don't think it's a change, but... Yeah, they have. A lot. Uh, everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Things will get back to normal soon, all right? He says you knew Ross was there. What he asked? I knew he'd been here. Okay. So we're splitting hairs now. How come you never said? I didn't want you to get your hopes up, all right? Yeah, I see your logic. Much kinder to let us think that he's dead. Blimey. I do hope all this trouble's not my doing. Do you want another smack? I'm gonna try that while I'm looking. Oh, what testosterone? God, it was like we were never apart. You still don't get what happened, do you? No. I've got a funny feeling you're about to tell me. You walk out and he goes looking for you. And he keeps looking for you. After a while, he pretty much forgets he's got a farm to run, bills to pay orders to get in. Just leave it, yeah. Because he's on the phone to a missing person's helpline. Or away, because someone spotted you in a pub in Leeds. Let it go. Hang on a minute, what's this? Just some of my gear. I'd like to ask first, didn't I? Yeah, I forgot we had somewhere else to keep. Oh, wait a minute. So you're planning on stopping then? Look, I didn't know this is what they had in mind. You've taken the cattle. That's enough. Except, well, we don't have anywhere else to go, do we? So it's once more, isn't it? I don't know, Mum. I mean, where are we going to put him? And for how long? And what happens if Kane comes back? I don't know. I don't know, and I keep telling you, that's a big if. But, listen, I won't say yes without you're OK. But they're family. And they're in trouble. And, well, I know what your dad would have done. Seriously? To get me on side, you're bringing up my dad now? It's true. <sighs> Fine. OK. But I'm not sharing, all right? Yeah, that's more than fair. I was just, um, wondering what was happening. No, it's happening. We're taking your wagon up to your place and we're going to get as much of your personal stuff as we can. OK? Right, you lot. Make yourselves useful. There's a wagon full out there. So start unloading, and then we'll figure out where we're going to put it. Hey, yours too. Go on. You brought my stuff. Yeah, you've managed to salvage some of that god awful vinyl you used to listen to. Go on. What are you waiting for? And try not decking each other. Hey, it's only temporary. I promise. Long as you need. Do so you reckon Kane's going to be all right about us being here? <laughs> well, he won't have much choice. So he's coming back, then. Why wouldn't he be? Like I said, he doesn't like our Ross. He'll be fine. Well, Kane will be back soon, anyway, OK? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, I'm fine, I'm honest. I'll give you a handshake. Ah. Long day. Ah, you could say that. Actually, I, I wanted a word. Um, I know it's none of my business, but you just be careful with him. How do you mean? Huh? Well, James, I reckon his intentions aren't honourable, as they say. Well, I don't know why you think that. But even if they weren't, so? 
But with her can be in a way. What? You know. Or oh, you think that I'm going to get my head turned, is that it? Well, like I say... None of your business. Damn right. I just thought that with things being a bit, you know, with you and Ken... You think I'm going to jump into bed with the first bloke that winks at me? John's brother, in fact? I didn't mean that either. Good. Meantime, thanks for your concern. But I can handle things. At least until your boy decides to show up. If he ever does. <laughs>